Welcome back, everyone. I am inside Tsukiji Hongwanji, inside the Shelter Ruins uh, underground passage. We are currently heading back to Roppongi um, to kind of uncover what is in the basement of, I guess, the Hills Building. Because Lilith wants us to see what true, I guess, human, horror, whatever, is like. And honestly, given what we've gone through so far, what we've seen, I am kind of leaning towards wanting to help Lilith. The door won't open. It seems to be locked. Cool. And also, the fact that she gave us a very interesting dungeon. I know it's not really a dungeon, because there weren't any fights or bosses or anything like that, but it was definitely one of the most interesting segments of the game so far. But it certainly also seems like this passage is going to take me to that area on the left there. If you look at my map, at the area with the door. Also loading us up with some items, which is cool. There are many monks in training here. Where do you want to go? Oh. We're going to the main building. Ah, here we go. And can we just leave? Wait, I think this is the way to leave. All right, we made our way back to the Ginza region. I guess we could explore a bit. But we are in, like, this segment of the game, I feel like we don't really want to be stalling. I am interested to see what's going to happen, and I'm sure all of you are as well. We have a term- oh! Oh! Wait, Isabel came with us? I thought it was just me and Walter. Walter! Huh. Walter ran off. Hi there! And that is Hikaru. You're not all together today, huh? Well, we kind of were until Walter ran off. Did you have an argument? No, not really. What were you discussing with Walter? Out with it! He wanted to go under Rapungi, so I told him about someone who might know how to get there. He's a guy called Fujiwara in Shijuku. Okay. Thank you. Okay, I'll be going now. Oh, that's right. If you run into him, tell him that Florida is a members only cafe. That matchbox proves you're a member. Before he knew it, there was a box of matches in Flynn's hand. Oh. This seems like important evidence. I'll make a note of it in the quest. Thank you. I was wondering when we would see Hikaru again. But, um, the Hikaru girl said that a man named Fujiwara in Shunjuku knows a lot about what's beneath Rapongi. It seems like Florida is a members only cafe, but the matchbox she gave you should be proof of membership. Hope you find him. Hmm. We still don't really know who she is, but she has been helpful so far. Last we saw her was in Shibuya, I think. Activating. Yeah, let's head over to Shinjuku. No, no, no. We. We're here. We met her in Shinjuku. What should we do, Master? 
Like just as we were trying to find a way to descend into this underground area. All right, who is Fujiwara? Do you know? Walking's a pain, but that's all I can think of doing. Hmm. Maybe I'll go to the bar and ask. What's your pleasure? Okay, my game is running really weird today. Give me a second. Oh, come now, you must hear me out. I'll ask one question and then leave peaceably. Yeah, okay, so I was walking around the area looking for wherever this um, place might be. And I remembered that there was that one um, building I couldn't enter the last time I was here. And as I moved towards that building, which apparently is called Florida um, in Japanese, uh, this cutscene automatically started to play. So. Uh, Walter said, come now, you must hear me out. I'll ask one question and then leave peaceably. Proof of membership. Are you deaf, man? I, I only need a moment of Fujiwara's time, please. Are you deaf, Walter? He asked for membership. Proof of membership. Walter, so he did come here. Are you going to go to Walter's aid? Yeah, go to the matchbox. My other option was to walk away. Truly? Sorry, sir. Please, come in. I want to know what's going on, too. Hi there. Oh. How did you get here before us? I mean, I guess I did walk around the area a little bit, but... You're... Why the devil are you here? Are these the people you were talking about, Hikaru? They sure are. There are a lot of weird people here. So, Medusa still being alive was one of the Ashurakai's lies after all. What? I mean, we killed Medusa back in, um... in the tower. We already know about most of your accomplishments. You passed through Naruku, right? Yeah. Did you hit up the terminal in there? How do you know about the terminals? How do you know about that? You mean the place above the firmament, the eastern kingdom of Mikado, right? I know a little. We were still young then, weren't we, Skins? Thanks to those days, I'm better at stitching up wounds than your average sawbones. Wait, so these people have been to Mikado? Or at least into Naraku? But I didn't come here to make idle conversation. I want to talk with Fujiwara. You want to go below Ropongi, right? Fujiwara's me. Oh! Uh, g g greetings! Maybe you should be a little kinder to the people you meet, Walter, because you never know who they might be. I don't mind giving you some info, but do you mind if I speak my piece a little first? Like, I'm curious, you people of the Eastern Kingdom of Mikado and those of us here in Tokyo, do you think we could ever coexist? I mean, I don't see why That's not. That's a poser you put to me so suddenly, but uh, I don't think it out of the question. From what we've seen, like, we're not very different. I mean, it's just the circumstances in which, uh, the circumstances and the environment in which the people have been raised. Speaking purely from intuition, I feel like it would be a difficult proposition. What about you? Fujiwara looked at Flynn. Do you think we could live in harmony? I do. I so I see no reason why not. Hmm, I see. Fujiwara, sir, could you kindly elaborate on the purpose of the question? 
You shouldn't believe that everyone living in Tokyo now is happy with their situation. I do not believe that. One bit. Life here takes a lot out of you. A lot of people are searching for somewhere to live in peace. What do you suppose those people will do when they hear about you? Perhaps they would... become curious of what the world is like up there. They're all set out for the Eastern Kingdom of Mikado. Naraku will be flooded with humans from Tokyo. What are you driving at? I'll be frank here. We're seriously considering emigrating to the Eastern Kingdom of Mikado. But that would only work if they allowed you. If they opened their borders, so to say. What? You'd come to our kingdom? I mean, if we were to compare Tokyo and the Eastern Kingdom of Mikado, I think everyone would kind of agree that it's probably more peaceful there. <laughs> but we don't plan on just barging in like a bunch of barbarians. Yeah, I'd rather not add to the collection of scars on my face. When the time comes, could you tell the leaders of your kingdom about us? Yeah, I guess. The time? Let's leave it at that, Fujiwara. They're here for a reason. Ah, uh, of course. Sorry. Below the hills in Roppongi, right? Below the Midtown Center in Tokyo is a way to get to the underside of Roppongi. Midtown Tokyo, okay. If you want to get under the hills, you'll need to go through Midtown. But Tayama set a demon at Midtown to block the way. Be careful, Samurai. <sighs> you mind telling me where Midtown is? I feel like I've passed it, but I don't remember. Walter, let us go there together. The demons of Tokyo are too much for one man to handle alone. I suppose... Well, at least they're still getting along. Okay, we must head to Midtown. I will cut to when I have arrived. <clears throat> Is this Midtown? The demon opened his eyes. I think this may be Midtown, instead of a side quest area. The magnetite you bear points toward the Star of Destruction. What? At last. One has come whose karma is worthy of a duel to the death. In the human world, there is a saying. Ignorance is bliss. To distance the people of my country from the cruel truth, that is the part I play in defending this land. Wait, is this demon saying he he knows the truth? But you would go beyond. The stars tell me so. Then we are fated to duel to the death. Let us see if you can bring Tenkai to his knees. Tenkai? Okay. Uh, sure. Let's fight. It begins! Holy crap, look at this guy. Live and die are one and the same. Death and life are made from the beginning. The heavens, the earth, the people. This is the rift of the three things. I hope you really put up a good fight, Tenkai. Who comes and goes. He whose name is yours. Damn, how do you know my name? Let's fight to the death. Alright. That is one of the coolest boss intros we've had so far. I like it. 44 famed Tenkai. All right. Um, let's start with wind, I guess. Charge. I will go with the... Bazianga. The ice. Nope. 
Okay, let's try fire next. Megiddo. Ooh. This guy's bringing out the... Almighty attacks. Okay, I guess we're at that part of the game now. He's got to be resistant. Yeah, he's so resistant. The physical. I might have to fog breath him just because, like, he's so tanky. And none of these elements seem to do well. You are a ideal. What sort of city is your ideal Tokyo? Ooh. My ideal Tokyo. Peaceful city of order. A wild city of freedom. Or one of both order and freedom. Let's see. I feel that... You kind of need a balance of both of these. Like, if you wanted to go with order, right? That's like being lawful good. It's always following the law, always following the rules, living peacefully. And that sounds like the ideal situation, but... I feel like in order to get a city of order and make it peaceful, it's almost restrictive in some kind of ways. Like, in order to get that order, you're almost limiting the choice that people have, and that takes away a lot of their humanity. So it's important to give them freedom. But having a wild city of freedom, letting people do whatever they want, giving them just the independence to choose and do whatever they want, is like, it's too much, right? So I want to say both order and freedom. And I know that kind of, it's almost like a cop-out, where it's like, uh... I don't want to make a choice one or the other, so I'm just going to go in the middle, but... In the case of a city like this, like, you kind of have to find that balance. At least in my opinion. Then let us see how they're aligned with your actual outlook. What does that mean? Tenkai quietly gazes at Flynn. It appears that your actions belie your supposed love of both order and freedom. Your ideals and actions are out of balance. You lack commitment. Okay. Well, I can kind of tell what that means. So, essentially, he's saying, Hey, you chose to be neutral, but the choices you've made so far in the game, not quite so neutral. And I think that's probably because of what happened in the passage of ethics. Yeah, it seems I went super, like, chaos in the passage of ethics, so... Okay, he has wind. Like, he's really good against wind. Even with, like, minus three, minus two. Oh my god. He is so tanky now. Actually, I think he probably got tankier because I answered the question wrong, didn't I? Didn't he? Alright, I think now is the time to start throwing items. See if that'll help. Nope. Take this. I 
At least he can't hit me. But yeah, with how little damage I'm doing. Oh my god, this is gonna take a while. I need to... Do I have Rakunda on anyone? I don't think I do. Yeah, I could Dekaja him, but... Ugh, Rakunda would be really nice here. Oops, Chakra popped. Let's at least Dekaja him so he's not super tanky. How does Kikuri Hime hit harder than Satanta? Ignorance is bliss, and yet you strive to pass it. Then I ask you this. When you learn the truth of the Asura what do you plan to do? Will you reform it and cause chaos? Will you sustain it, thereby preserving order? Uh... I mean, if I don't answer... The way I know he wants me to answer, he's just gonna be harder, right? I mean, I, I don't wanna... It's not like I wanna sustain it anyway, so... <laughs> I don't really wanna reform it either, though. I'll... I'll reform it. <laughs> just as I would. That's right. Even if it causes chaos, if there's a wrong that needs to be addressed, we must do so. Else we're as good as corpses. The human world is constantly in flux. That is another truth. Do not forget that resolve. All right. Maybe we can actually damage him now. Uh, not really. Honestly, I don't think we're meant to, like, beat him up anyway. We just survive until he asks all his questions. I will not let you Rakukaza, though. How about this? He just wants me to eat his ass. I mean, sure. Yeah, I can do that. Uh, let's go ahead and use a... Another Agival or Pufula, whatever. Take this. Uh, 
I mean, if you want me to defeat you, why would you spam Rakukaja? I mean you want to be fused because I'll fuse you you tanky as hell dude you could be my new Satanta or Horkos all right level up my nice nice recarm eh yeah Oh, so much power we just got. The demon turned into a huge slab of stone. What were those last words he spoke? He sounded grateful. It's just as I was unable to choose the sort of family I was born into. Once summoned, demons can't pick their master. Humans and demons are the same, eh? That may have been aptly put. You are being taken in by Lilith. That is the only reason her words seem to you to have merit. You wouldn't understand. You're a luxurer. Okay, dude. But you know of which I speak, yes? I mean, I do. I agree with you. Like, almost everything that you say, I... I agree with more than I agree with Jonathan because he Jonathan is too like oh demons bad humans good but I mean it not don't blame him just because of the way he was raised man but yes I do y you see I guess I guess guys we are cemented I don't think our route will change anymore because it seems to me like we're going down the chaos route. I am sorry for all of this. Burrows. All right, uh, we are inside Midtown and next time we will take our time to explore this place, see if we can get ourselves underneath the Hills building and discover what is actually happening in there but until then thanks for watching and i will see you guys in the next one bye